Okay, okay. Good evening, chickens. Gonna let you all out. <laughs> Who's missing? Wait, nobody's missing. I can't count. We're all here. I had to scare some geese away. The geese have been pretty, pretty well behaved. They've been leaving the chickens alone, but I'm gonna keep a shovel with me just in case we uh, get into any altercations. The geese have been spending most of the day down over that direction by the uh, picnic table in the clover fields and over by the shed is where they were when I came out. <clears throat> and they have generally left the chickens up here alone. But since the chickens like going down that direction, I figured I would make the uh, geese go away somewhere. So I slowly walked toward them with a shovel above my head and they were not exactly pleased, but they left the area. I'm pretty sure they're just on the other side of the fence in the water. Not exactly interested to see who wins a fight between two geese and a rooster and seven hens, but uh, Hopefully we won't have to find out. And I don't mind that they're here. They've been, uh, there haven't been any altercations, but they do have three goslings. So they are probably appropriately territorial. They're just trying to raise their babies. Caroline and Amelia. You two want to come down here? Yeah, thanks for joining us. Caroline, come join us down here, kitten. Not kitten, really? I've been talking to the cats too much. Caroline, I promise not to call you a cat if you come join us. DeLorean, she was eating. Thank you for joining us. I guess I better not call you a cat now. The geese have been loving this area down here. Tall grass. Uh, I know it's supposed to be the entire month of May that you don't mow for, but I think I might have to change my mind. Yeah, it looks like a big chunk of geese poop in there. Only problem. What was that? Was that a sneeze? DeLorean, did you just sneeze? Yeah, look at all this clover. That's what's been attracting the geese too. <clears throat> of course, 
these chickens are interested in bugs and worms. So Amelia is in there trying to dig some up. We have a couple others. Beth, Victoria back there. Jane, if you can just barely make her out. <clears throat> it's a little harder to keep an eye on all of you while, uh, Oh, there's so many leaves. What'd you find? What'd you find? You find a lot of bugs? I'm feeling a lot of bugs on me. Oof, I'm going to have to stop recording just so that I can walk around and try to get the bugs off. Anyway, here in May we uh, have more green in the yard than probably any other time of year. Our cherry tree is starting to bloom. Or actually our cherry tree has probably already bloomed. Got a couple of apple trees going. And whatever this beautiful plant is, probably foreign and exotic. Anyway. Yeah, it's like a whole salad on the ground, huh? The chicks are currently 12 weeks old. Six more weeks until we can join them together. It has been plenty warm out and we've had the uh, vents open for the coop because even at night it's staying over 60 degrees. Kind of an arbitrary number that I decided, but once it's 60, I kind of keep the vents open. Look how tall gross grass is, you silly chickens. <laughs> Too buggy. Too buggy. That grass is taller than you are. Does somebody see that butterfly? Somebody gonna try to eat that butterfly? I don't think that's what's going to happen. All right, 
I'm gonna stop recording so I can watch the chickens a little better. Watch the phone a little less. We're gonna say bye-bye chickens. Nice, beautiful evening. <laughs>